What's up YouTube? This is Brian Pfeiffer, AKA The Marketing Meathead. And today we're gonna to talk about how to grow your Instagram with Hopper IQ. All right, welcome back. Please read the disclaimer. This is not financial advice. This is just a kind of a review and showing you guys what I'm doing with uh, a new tool that we went ahead and purchased for a year subscription. It's helping us really uh, grow our Instagram accounts. So the tool I'm talking about today is uh, Hopper IQ and uh, you can go to um, www.hop, well actually I'll, I'll put my affiliate link down below. So if you guys do want to check this thing out, I would appreciate you guys going to my affiliate link. It helps grow the channel. Uh, full disclosure, I will get a small commission if you do buy through my link. So I'll put that below. It's uh, Hopper HQ, and uh, you basically the way it works, you, you know, you have a monthly or a yearly uh, subscription. And let's, in my case, I bought eight accounts, and I paid a yearly. Uh, I get a bulk discount, so we're gonna go annual. And uh, let's see, gives you. A, you got to put your credit card in. And uh, ultimately, it was like 14.28. I think that's about what was charged on my card. So I paid like 14.28 for eight accounts, uh, and I did like the annual. So we just we did try it out for like 14 days, and uh, we did like it. Uh, we were actually using a program called uh, Conjuregram for a long time. Uh, I have a VA that does my a lot of my Instagram stuff and posting and whatnot, and schedules a lot of my posts because I just don't have the time to maintain. I think I have eight accounts right now and I'm busy with my businesses and trying to grow the businesses and spending time posting on Instagram is just, uh, it, it, it's good for the business. It helps, it, you know, gives you the illusion that the business is growing, which it is, and uh, it does drive some traffic to the website, which I'll show you in a second. But uh, as far as like the time it actually takes to do the work, it's not really worth the actual money we make on it. But at the end of the day, it's a growing platform and I think it's important to be strong on Instagram. Uh, most of the big internet marketers out there outsource their Instagram to somebody, uh, either an agency or a person. I have a VA that does my Instagram. Uh, it is what it is, but she needs a nice tool to be able to go in and schedule posts on her on her desktop. Uh, she works off one of my uh, one of my computers here in my office remotely, and uh, a nice tool that she can go in without having to do all eight accounts on her phone. She can go in and just schedule all the posts in one piece of software. And, and go from there. Now there's been other people that have tried to do something similar to this Hopper HQ. We had a, an Insta Make Me, this guy put out, and another one called Conjugram. And both those were like, you pay one fee and you had like access to the software. And both of them have since went and faded away. Uh, I'd be real leery of anything software wise, if you're gonna go and buy something that doesn't have at least some kind of a monthly or annual subscription. Because what happens is ultimately is these guys go in and they create some software, they give this, you know, awesome deal for you to buy it originally, you know, on the get-go, and then ultimately they don't end up keeping up on the software, the support, uh, the updates when, you know, Instagram changes their API or something like that, and then the software ends up stops working at some point and you have nothing. So, uh, from now on, generally with stuff like Instagram software and, you know, anything that might have to do with, uh, you know, social media marketing. If it doesn't have a monthly subscription or an annual subscription of some sort, I would be real leery of buying it because it's probably not gonna last too long. You may get a year or two out of it, but then it's gonna disappear. So that's just some good advice and um, you can take it for what it's worth. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the software here. Um, you know, most people have one or two accounts. It's not that bad. Uh, you'd be looking at uh, annually like 387.60 for two years. That's not that bad. That's 100, roughly 155 or 165 bucks an account. Not bad uh, for a whole year. That's you know just over 10 bucks a month, which is not terrible to have a nice software to be able to use uh, and schedule all your posts and whatnot. Let's take a look at the um, actual software itself here. Uh, you can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six accounts in here. I paid for eight. We're going to be setting up the Halloween account shortly here, as soon as the website's ready for this season, as well as the New Year's um, Instagram. As soon as that website's ready to go, we'll set up that one and start rocking and rolling with um, a bunch of posts. Uh, there's basically like a queue here. You can see I got one post in the queue that you can click here to schedule a new post. You can see what this looks like. It's pretty cool. It's got uh, it's got ability to upload from different places uh, that you might have your you know pictures stored. 
you know, Google folders, you can take a photo of Google Drive, Dropbox, Link, whatever. And you can go in and, you know, play around with this and do some uploads. You can see what it looks like and whatnot. And then, you know, let's see. Let me out of this. So you want to go into your drafts. You have, like, there's no drafts right now, obviously, in this one. But you have a calendar. You can see what's scheduled. Uh, obviously, I just have one scheduled for this account. Most of, mostly on this Brian Surreal account, I do my own personal posts. So she doesn't do that much on that. She does more on, on some of these other ones here uh, that are more for my business. I, I pretty much kind of do the posting on my own on this my personal one. And you can get a preview here of what that's going to look like exactly on the, uh, you know, the feed. Okay. And then you have a history here. And what I really like uh, about the, uh, you can play with the account settings and whatnot. And uh, the analytics is what I like here. Okay. The analytics are pretty helpful. Okay, take a look at this. So the account performance, we've had new file. This is in the last 28 days, okay? So 28 days here. We've had 664 new followers, which is pretty good, uh, considering I, I don't post that often. Uh, I think to really get the full advantage of Instagram, you probably need to post anywhere from five to 10 times a day. Uh, this is my personal account. I don't post that much. I, I post more on the weekends when I'm out and about. It, it's mostly my friends on there and people that know me, so you know, it is what it is. Uh, I do have a pretty decent uh, amount of impressions, profile views. As you can see here, website clicks, okay? That's pretty cool. I have 31 clicks in the last 20 day, 20 days. A couple of email clicks as well. Uh, you can see which posts have done well. I posted this on Sunday night. I was out at the uh, Ray Shrumrod party in Prism, the club I own part of in Chicago. And this post did really well, 110 likes. Here's another one, 88, 122. So, you know, I'm getting some decent traction on some of these, decent amount of views. I did post a video here a while back. This one here, check this out. This video went real viral. Got 100, or 1,793 views and, um, a, you know, a decent amount of likes, but the views is really high. So, you can see YouTube's really, get, or, I mean, Instagram's giving really uh, some love to the videos. Uh, here's another video I did. Uh, this, this was in Croatia at Sandy Beach in um, Dubrovna, Croatia, 1,000 views. Uh, it just goes to show, like, you know, videos are definitely getting some love, okay? So, and then uh, the audience here. This is important. This really shows, like, the time of day. Like, for example, this is your peak hour here. This is going to be uh, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. So, basically, everything from here at 10 a.m. till about, uh, you know, this is 10 o'clock at night. This is going to be a good time to post, okay? It really helps you out. And you can see the location of my followers, most of the U.S., age and gender, you know, it's got some good data here, so you can really, you know, maximize your post times based on when people are, you know, active as far as you're following. You're not going to want to post stuff from here over to here, okay? You're not going to want to put stuff in your calendar and queue it up, okay? So this is helpful. This is a nice tool to be able to use for, uh, uh, you know, if you have multiple accounts you're managing, you have a VA that wants to, you know, have, wants to do the posting for you. Let's take a look at one of my other ones here. Here's Bachelorette Party Vegas. She's probably got a number in the queue here. Yeah, so she's got a bunch queued up to go out. And um, you know, let's take a look at the analytics here. And uh, you know, new followers in the last 28 days, 435, not bad. This is a new account. We started this in January. And uh, you know, decent amount of website clicks. Uh, we've had 15 clicks in the last 28 days, email clicks, which is good. This is driving some you know, nice traffic. Hopefully these are decent leads to my website. Etc. And uh, you know it's good for the uh, good for the business. So uh, again, if you want to go ahead and you know start this, you can see all the features this has. There's an iOS app. I didn't even know about this iOS app until just today. I actually uh, uploaded it today. I'll play around with it on my phone, see how I like it. But uh, a couple other little tips here. If you guys are looking for um, for hashtags, there's a nice site I found out about today called DisplayPurposes.com. You can actually go in and type like a hashtag here, and you can find other related hashtags. Uh, this is a nice place to copy it and put it in the Word document and then you know, paste it right into your Instagram or your Hopper HQ. And, uh, you know, there's another article here. I'll link to this. This is about the uh, list of banned Instagram uh, hashtags. You want to definitely take a look at that. And you don't want to be using any banned hashtags and whatnot. So there's an article on this. So before you, uh, you know, get into some of these uh, more racy type hashtags, I'd take a look to see this article and, and check to see if they're a hashtag. So other than that, uh, that is it for Hopper HQ. I will put my affiliate link below, and if you are new to this channel, I would appreciate a uh, 
a thumbs up and a subscription and a bang the notifications bell. If you could go down below and let me know that you are new to this channel, I will welcome you to uh, the channel and we will uh, continue to bring you great content like this. I am the Marketing Meathead. We'll talk to you guys later.